Alrighty, so there is dumb design and there's divine design. Write this down the second time you listen to this. Don't write it down now. Let's have an experience together. So there's dumb design and there's divine design. <laughs> and adding something dumb in doesn't make a design more divine. Here's what I'm talking about. So I'm, I'm right now it is 6.48 in the morning. You're listening to Mr. 2020 Live from Melbourne, Australia. You may hear some birds, you may hear some traffic, but I can tell you one thing. What you hear today is going to rock your world because dumb design just makes life more complicated. makes life too... It's just... Ugh, it's dumb, right? You know what dumb is. You can look at something and you can go, that's dumb. You can look at someone and go, he's weird. You can look at someone else and go, oh, that guy's cool. And you can look at other stuff and go, oh my God, that's brilliant. So let's talk about dumb design. Right now I am in the portable, I am in the disposable hot tub. It's called a portable hot tub. Victoria calls it a disposable hot tub. This is maybe my third one in, I don't know, three years, two years, however long I've had th these things. Yeah, they wear out over time. That's all right. But the first two, let's talk about them. The first two, uh, you see a portable, a disposable hot tub has a pump and has a filter, right? And with a pump and a filter, you have to change the filters. And one of the things that I learned really early on was if you want to keep life simple, change the water every week or two. Right? I do it every seven days. I just like fresh water. Now I know I could fiddle with the chemicals a whole bunch and take a bunch of readings and you know, you know play with all the all the chemicals, but I'm not into playing with all the chemicals, right? I'll just keep a base dose in the water and I'll get rid of the water once a week. No biggie, right? Meanwhile, ready? Dumb Design had the first two hot tubs. Each The first two hot tubs had two filters. And to drain the hot tub, you had to turn off the pump, remove the filters, cover the filters with filter cover caps, cover the input with a cover cap, so it's three cover caps. And you had to, rem you had to remove the pump, and you had to attach a hose to where the bottom pump hole thing was. And then, once you attached the hose firmly, you double-checked all that, and then you removed only the bottom, right? pumpy thing and then the water would go through there god that took like 10 minutes right and some of these were cold and i don't like cold i am not a fan of cold i like the portable the disposable hot tub because it's hot so that was complicated design function two filters one input have to remove the filters put all three caps on remove the pump from the damn thing right so i got to remove the input and the output Got to remove the diverter valve thing you do, then put the converter thing on. Remove the diverter, add in the converter. And then after all that, I can remove one of the caps. Make sure it's the right one, because if you remove the wrong one, shit gets messy. And then it drains. Gosh, that's hard. It's a waste of ten minutes. And maybe you've noticed I'm a fan of investing. I'm fierce with time. I absolutely am. I am absolutely nuts about time. When somebody shows me, hey, here's something that you can speed up with. Here's something that you can multiply your time with. And I do a little bit of research, right? I, I grab it, right? I'm not a fan of slow. Meanwhile, maybe you've noticed I don't do hour-long podcasts and talk fluffy, right? Not a fan of fluffy, right? Meanwhile. Ah... Uh, by the way, if you want to listen to a longer podcast that's really good, Feeling Twisty, my buddy Mike Brignac. Uh, good guy. He's done some of the old live call recordings, done manifestingmasterycourse.com with us. Him and his family are beautiful. He does a longer podcast. He's got probably a, a more polite way of doing things. He's a good guy. If you go listen to him, tell him I said hello and that I sent you. Anyway, crash commercial for Mike, over. Ready? Let's talk about design function. Let's talk about divine design instead of dumb design. Because now, in this current version of Mr. 2020, I mean the current version of the portable, the disposable hot tub, uh, there is a permanent little plug in the bottom. And this permanent little plug in the bottom permanently can affix itself to a hose. So, no, not a pump, it's a, it's a drainage thing. So this permanent little drainage hole in the bottom, all I gotta do is pull a plug. 
it takes one second and then the water starts going out the hose. Oh my God, talk about cool. I'm doing it right now. And it's so much fun because I don't have to, right, uh, take off two filters, add on three caps, disconnect the pump from the outside, uh, connect the hose to the bottom one, make sure I only remove the bottom cap from the, see, all that complication. Stop it. Now let's talk about how people add that into manifesting because Cam asked a really good question. How do I make sure that my manifesting is, is beneficial and good for all that are impacted or something like that? I've seen that language before. You do not have to make sure that it's good and positive and lovely for all involved. Amen. All right. The only reason you would say those words is because you're already imagining shit. Notice how much it's like an affirmation. Neville didn't teach affirmations. And I want this to be good and holy and bless all that are involved. Amen. Rightio. You see, the only reason you say that is because you're already believing that it might not. You're already imagining it might not. Neville didn't say that what you say causes what happens. Neville said what you experience imaginally, what you hear, what you see imaginally, how you hear it and how you see it. That determines what shows up in your life, how you live, your circumstance. So we don't want to add in things that don't matter. And that's called dumb design. See, divine design is simple. Div divine design is, let me ask you a question. What would you experience? What would you honestly experience if your wish were already fulfilled? How would you experience one sip of coffee differently? How would you experience going to bed differently? Because I go to bed satisfied and accomplished. When my head hits the pillow, I feel satisfied and accomplished. You want to know how to manifest up a business when you don't know what to do? Imagine going to bed, feeling satisfied, feeling accomplished. Got a sneeze. Oh dear. <coughs> ah, that was fun. Meanwhile, what else do people add in? Let's listen to four hours of brainwave recordings. Let's listen to eight hours of Neville repeating what Milliken said. See, that's insane. See, Neville brings up Milliken and basically says, if you would move like Milliken moved. He didn't say, do what he did. Walk yourself in a room for, for 20 hours, 16 hours, whatever it was. Right? Walk yourself in a room for a day. Don't even take water in with you. But Neville doesn't say to do that. He shares that's what Milliken did. And he says, if you could only move like Milliken did, if you could only give life to something noble like Milliken did, he didn't say do what he did. He said, actually, if when you look at Neville's teaching on affirmations, he says very cl clearly, let's not do those. Don't add in chanting. Don't add in talking. Don't add in crystals. It, I like to talk and I enjoy crystals but they have nothing to do with manifesting. Don't add in, and this or something better for the good of all involved, amen. That's bullshit. That just means you don't have faith in you. When you try to, when, when you have,